Hey guys, Mr. Burns here, and uh, I'm going to do a quick little video on uh, representation of polynomials using algebra tiles. So it's, ba it's basically an introduction to algebra tiles. Um, so if you're uh, already familiar with this stuff, you may want to move on. The colors I use for algebra tiles are yellow and red, because just that's just a textbook uh, that I use in grade 9, uh, that we use in grade 9, I should say. Uh, that's what... Um, that's the colors that they use. And yellow is positive and red is negative. Okay, so um, if you have, if you're familiar with different colors, perhaps just dark and shade it, white and black, uh, feel free to use whatever colors you want to use, really. And I always tell my students before you start a test, you should always check the key or the little introduction or whatever problem. If you come across an algebra tiles problem, always check back to the instructions as to what means what. Does dark mean positive or this, you know, shaded negative? What is it? Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with algebra tiles, uh, there are a few different tiles. This particular square tile is called an X square tile. Okay. It's a square, but it's called an X square tile. Okay. So this is X squared. Okay. The reason it's called X squared is because it has dimensions x by x. Okay, so the area of this particular uh, x squared tile is x squared. x times x is x squared. So it's called an x squared tile. So with polynomials, we always represent x squareds with an x squared tile. And this one in particular is a positive x squared. Okay, this is a positive x tile. And this has dimension x and 1. So this has a width of 1, a length of x. So the area of this thing is just x. So this is an x tile, a positive x tile, and this is its counterpart, a negative x tile. Okay? And lastly, we call this a 1 tile, and the reason it's called a 1 tile is because it has dimension 1 by 1, giving it an area of 1. Okay? So that's a 1 tile. So we can represent polynomials using these um, algebra tiles. All right, so let me just make up a all positive polynomial. So let's see. x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay. So there's a polynomial. Hopefully this works. Let's see. Yes. All right, so um, here's my polynomial. x squared plus 3x plus 2. So all positive, so we're going to stick with the yellow for this first one. So uh, even though there's no coefficient written there, x squared, we know that there's actually a 1 there. We never write it, but it's there. Okay. So what that means is we have 1 x squared tile. So 1 x squared, just like that. 3x, well, they have 3 x tiles, okay, and then we have two one tiles. All right, so simply enough, we just represent it x squared plus 3x plus 2 with uh, algebra tiles. So that is a representation of it. All right, let's try another one. Let's throw in a couple negatives here. So negative... 2x squared. I'm not going to go too big with the numbers just because a lot of tiles get confusing. Plus x. That's how I would normally write it, but it doesn't usually pick it up on the smart board here or the notebook. And go 3. So let's try this again. Recognize it as math. Give it a second. That's good. Let's get rid of these brackets, though, hey? Negative 2. All right, so. Um, so I got negative 2x squared plus x plus 3. So I got negative 2x squared tile. So this time, 
my x tiles are negative. X squared tiles are negative. So I've got two of these things. And a positive x, so that's positive 1x. And I have a positive 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Um, so guys, really, there's not much else to it besides that. Um, this is, you know, straightforward, obviously, recognizing what this is in this. But it's essential to be able to do this in order to uh, learn how to do all kinds of operations. You can add polynomials, you can multiply polynomials, you can divide polynomials, you can subtract polynomials using algebra tiles. And I will in future videos go into that. Uh, so check out, uh, keep updated on my videos, guys, and keep looking for them. I will do videos on using more of the algebra tiles. They're a very powerful tool. Like I tell my students, it's just another one, another one of our tools to get to where we want to go. No, we don't want to continue always doing math and algebra tiles, but it allows us to, it's, it's part of our path to get there. So if we start out with this, we will eventually get to just using the symbols. Okay, that's where we want to go. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd also like to know if you guys, what color do you guys use? Because uh, I always get confused, watch, and I always I tell my students I'll check the key of the test or the, uh, the instructions. What color to algebra tiles you guys use? Let me know. So maybe if, if you don't use, the majority of guys use a different color, maybe I'll change. All right, guys. Uh, take care. Good luck with your studies. I'll see you in class.